Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. Flint police say just before one Monday morning, 18-year-old Alyssa McMahon and 19-year-old Elvin Hollinger were gunned down in Broome Park. Four others, ages 17 to 20 years old, were injured and are hospitalized. Police have not made any arrests, but they have spoken with several persons of interest. Anyone with information is urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 1-800-422-JAIL. A new poll finds a fifth of American parents with kids eligible for a COVID shot say they aren't going to let them get one. The Kaiser Family Foundation poll reports 88% of those parents said not enough is known about the shot's long-term effects. 79% said they're worried about immediate side effects. And 73% are concerned it could impact their kids' fertility. According to the CDC, 41% of adolescents eligible for the vaccine have gotten their shot. Michigan falls falls below that average at 37.8% of teens receiving at least one dose ahead of this school year. It comes as more kids are getting COVID. The American Academy of Pediatrics says nearly 94,000 child cases were reported between July 29th and August 5th. CDC data shows about 200 were hospitalized every day. More local news now. 20 food trucks from across the state are heading to mid-Michigan tomorrow. Fun Town Chow Down Food Truck Festival returns to Frankenmuth's River Place shops. There will be live music, face painting, and inflatables. Admission and parking are free, and it runs from 2 to 9. And now here's Brian with a look at our weather. Thanks very much, Meg. We have to brace ourselves yet again this evening for another round of strong to severe thunderstorms that will be tracking in from Wisconsin and Lake Michigan. This, of course, follows on the heels of Tuesday night's severe weather that led to widespread tree and power line damage. Hundreds of people in the dark thanks to lingering power outages from those storms. Then we had a second round of storms flare up mainly south and east of the Tri-Cities on Wednesday afternoon. And now again, here we are facing a third round working its way actually in across parts of northern lower Michigan as we speak right now. That'll cut its way across the northern half of the mitten for the first half of the evening. But where we're going to be paying attention mostly is to this growing cluster of storms trying to get fired up here in parts of Wisconsin. We expect these to develop further both out over Wisconsin and over, even over Lake Michigan this evening before then tracking in across the state later this evening and into the first part of the overnight period. So here's how it times out hour by hour forecast between about 8 p.m. and 11. Again, we'll watch for this glow uh, growing that is cluster of strong to severe thunderstorms over southern Wisconsin to work its way in across mainly southwest Michigan at first. More development also happening over the northwest mitten around that time too. taking a look at how that plays out here locally. We'll watch for those storms again to start building in from the west around 11 p.m. Looks like they'll spend most of their focus this time around from around the Tri-Cities and Mount Pleasant area on southward into the greater Flint metro area, rolling in with some torrential rains, potential for damaging winds yet again, and also the possibility for isolated spin up tornadoes and hail with these storms as they move through during the overnight period. Most of the focus then shifts to the thumb by about 3 a.m. You see possible uh, possibility there of a couple of flare up showers even northwest of the bay again through about five o'clock in the morning, but then heading into the morning commute and really again for the balance of our Thursday we will trend back into sunnier conditions. There is the potential for another round of storms as we head into Thursday evening, but the chances for severe weather on that particular round are much, much lower. So as for tonight, strong to severe thunderstorms rolling in later this evening, low temp around 72, staying very warm and humid otherwise, and then heading into your first one five seven day forecast. One more day of the hot and humid weather on Thursday, 88 the high, mostly sunny during the day, then the chance for evening thunderstorms, and then we're done. Friday, we see the humidity break. High temps will scale back to more pleasant low 80s under a mix of sun and clouds. We stay in the 70s with plenty of sunshine all weekend long, and we'll keep it dry on Monday and Tuesday before the next round of storms comes back into the picture by Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.